But Larry Tenvorder once again has made a rocket start and it's Tenvorder who's leading into turn one just for Amamullah coming back on the outside. Dylan Pereira there looking, now Amamullah's fighting back and it's Amamullah into the lead with Dylan Pereira looking inside Larry Tenvorder. The three of them are absolutely glued together up the hill into turn three. We have a three abreast cars coming round. Yeah, now Julian Andlauer did the mega job, um, just overtook two guys. And uh, now he's trying to side draft on 1040. <laughs> and let's see if he can make it around the outside in turn four. I don't think so. Um, normally 1040 should go back to the front again and he has to take care of Pereira as, as well. But yeah, great job. Um, uh. I mean, this what is exactly what you predicted. Yeah. What you predicted. <laughs> this is what we knew we were going to see. And uh, he's coming back at him again, isn't he? Uh, so uh, Julian Andlauer looking very, very racy indeed. And uh, the first four cars kind of breaking away slightly as we see uh, some more jostling for position further back in the pack. But uh, Mikhail Amamullah has already opened up a bit of a gap, hasn't he? Yeah, quite a strong performance. Um... And uh, Julian Andlauer is really on the tail of uh, 1040, so yeah, <laughs> watch out, so, turn three <laughs> in the next lap. <laughs> so as, as, a, as a Porsche driver, you're riding on board uh, with uh, Julian Andlauer just then. What have you got to do now? Where is your position to make that jump on Larry Tenvorder? Yeah, you just hold back a little bit in turn one, focus on a perfect exit. Uh, oh, that's it's going wide, it's exactly. going to the top, yeah. That's perfect because uh, Larry is going to have a bad exit now. Julian got a better exit. Um, and he's already next to him. Yeah. Great. And uh, I'm pretty sure Julian will make it for P2 now. So, yeah. that's it. <laughs> so, the uh, Lechma Racing team uh, are getting very punchy here after a fairly disappointing day yesterday. And now the uh, number three car, Dylan Pereira, as uh, Larry Tenborda goes really wide there into the corner and uh, coming back at Julian Andlauer. But did he exceed track limits then? Yes, uh, maybe he took a little bit of an advantage of going wide, um, but now it's going to be Julian and Laura time. And Pereira, oh, oh, Pereira oh. goes through as well. So Ooh. this is uh, this is the first time we've seen a chink in the Larry Ten border uh, armor this year. So uh, P4, whoever thought that we could see him down that low? Uh, it's Mikhail Amamula who is now leading this race, and uh, the. Uh, the uh, Lechma Racing Team are uh, doing a fantastic job at the front here. We're looking back at the Dylan Pereira car and uh, we can just see how closely matched these cars are. So here we have a replay. Tell us some... Um, oh, no, oh, this is a replay some different. So. Jackson Evans got spun yeah. um, into turn three. And he's, uh, uh, he's someone who's having a very disappointing uh, weekend, isn't yes, he, Jackson? Yes, he's a Porsche Junior, but it's his first time here on the Red Bull Ring. So for him, it's... Uh, yeah. Seems to be pretty, pretty tough this weekend. A lot of track limits here. Yeah, and we've just <laughs> seen it there, cars going over. That yellow sausage curb is, sure. uh, that's the track limit, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, but pretty strong result for the moment for Lechner, one, two, three. Yes. Um, Herrera <laughs> looks strong behind uh, Julian Adlauer. Yeah. Um, but just coming back to the, to the uh, overtaking of Julian. I mean, he pushed uh, Tim Ford a little bit wide, opened the door for Pereira. Yeah. So this was, uh, I think he's going to get five euros extra from Mark Lechner after that. <laughs> was, <laughs> was this planned? It was a pretty <laughs> smart move. <laughs> so what would be the uh, approach among the Lechner drivers as we see Dylan Pereira taking a look on the inside of Julian Andlauer? Um, I presume that uh, they, are, uh, they are to be a little less aggressive with each other than they might be with Ten Border. I think so as well. Um, after, otherwise they're going to have a word with Walter Lechner. <laughs> Here we have him. Um, after the race. serious. <laughs> exactly. uh, but but as, we, as we said yesterday, maybe it's also a reason uh, of uh, tyre pressures. Maybe Chouillon started a little, a little lower, focusing on the end of the race. And uh, Pereira and Amamula look pretty strong now for the beginning. So yeah, um, let's so see. We could see cars coming on as the race goes through. And we see that the car 99 receiving a drive through penalty. That's Alan, Alex Arkin Aka for a jump start. So uh, did not see that on screen. So Alex uh, Arkin Aka receiving a drive through penalty uh, for that. So uh, uh, that's uh, bad news for Alex Arkin Aka who uh, is currently, just look and see where he is. Um, P15. P15. So, yeah, but pretty uh, strong performance by uh, Nicolas Schill. Uh, who's on the tail of Arca at the moment. Um, he came from P23, 
and is now on P16. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty strong. Progress. Yeah. yeah, good progress. Yeah. And, um, uh, Jack van Lagen, who's uh, posting some purple sectors in sector one as well, we're just looking at our timing screen. So, uh, oh, is it Heinrich Skoog? So I'm looking at the line below. Heinrich <laughs> Skoog, that's my dodgy eyes for you. <laughs> Heinrich Skoog, uh, now he was a driver who was uh, very impressive yesterday as well. He's currently in uh, P8. Uh, as we look, still looking back and uh, just see how closely matched uh, this is here. So we're looking back at, uh, which car is that we're looking back at? Uh, Nick Schull. Nick Schull, yes. Nick Schull in front of uh, Richard Wagner. Um, I think Nick Schull just got overtaken by Berka Beisler, also a rookie driver. And uh, so there we have three rookies uh, fighting each other, Aki Naka, Berka Beisler and Nick Schull. And now uh, Richard Wagner is joining as well. But Aki Naka has to come in for uh, drive-through. Exactly, yeah. for the drive-through. And we see Jackson Evans in the pits. Yeah. So it seems like race is over for him. Yeah, and um, when uh, a drive-through in the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup is going to be a bit of a, uh, a killer as well in terms yes, of uh, yes. scoring points. Just looking at our leading rookie, uh, Leon Kohler, um, is up in P6, so he's doing a great job, isn't he? I mean, yeah. he's well ahead of um, uh, the other rookies, and he, uh, Dylan Pereira, who is now lapping, you just, you just pointed that out to me, uh, who's in P3, Dylan Pereira, as we see uh, Nicholas Nicholas Skoll, Nicholas Skoll <laughs> uh, making a move on the inside in the number 22 car. But Dylan Pereira um, is the fastest man on the track at the moment. He's lying in P3, and he clearly um, is not settling for that P3 and has eyes on the next position. It's one, two, three for Lekkonen Racing here at the Red Bull Ring on a Sunday afternoon, and uh, we're looking down. Uh, at a number of battles here. Uh, riding on board with Luta, Luca Rettenbacher. Yeah, we see that. It seems like uh, Igor Valenko um, is just, yeah, it seems like he's not having the pace at the moment and Leon Köhler and Luca Rettenbacher are all over him. Um, and I mentioned it yesterday, six and seven, there's no place to overtake. Um, yeah. We see it again. Uh, you can just overtake if somebody else makes a big mistake, but again, um, Rettenbacher and Kühler. You see him making the move there, there yeah. on the outside. No, it doesn't make a stick. I'm guessing that on a track such as this, that you are able just to make your Porsche 911 very, very wide. As we see him locking the brakes, uh, going up and behind him there. Um, you can make your uh, Porsche just very wide, even when you don't have the pace, you can still hold that position. Yeah, and I mean, for the guys behind him, it's pretty. that's pretty bad because they they just missed the rear of uh, Larry Ten Forty and uh, the guys in front of them. So um, they really have to go past him now. Otherwise, they are, yeah, it's, they're yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah, and with the race now um, over one third distance, and uh, we see the uh, number 77 car again of Leon Kohler taking a look on the outside of Evan uh, Waliko. So now onto the inside, talk us through what he's going to be doing now. Yeah, he's, he's, again, he was using the side draft, um, which you have when you're really next to the car. Um, wow, now he lost two oh, positions. Oh, good driving. Yeah, there. Valiko opened the door quite a little bit too much for Kuhler, and then Rettenbacher just went through as well. So really strong performance for, for the both uh, teammates of the MSG team. Um, so I think now they're going to move forward. Do you say Waliko opened the door? Do you actually feel as though he succumbed to the, succumbed to the pressure rather than um, just made a mistake? Yeah, it was just, he's not having the pace at the moment. Um, yeah. You see it immediately, the gap opens. Um, Rettenbacher and Köhler, they can just move away. Um, so yeah. And here we are again, looking back. Yeah, Skok was really close on the on the tail of uh, Rettenbacher. Yeah, uh, touched him a little bit. Um, <laughs> just a little. Yeah, exactly. Just, <laughs> exactly. Here you see, he just opened the door again. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're through, and uh, don't need a second invitation to get through there, do they? Uh -huh. No. And we look back there on a replay of that. So, with seven of the 17 laps. We are in the most beautiful setting here at the Red Bull Ring, nestled in amongst the mountains. And it's Mikhail Ammermuller who leads this race from Julian Andlauer, Dylan Pereira, and the uh, runaway uh, championship leader, Larry Tenvord in P4. Uh, but uh, just pointing out that the fastest man on the track is now Julian Andlauer, lapping in a 131.501, uh, which is marginally quicker than Mikhail Ammermuller, who has the open track in front of him. 
Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, it seems like uh, Shunya um, has to pace now. So, yeah, I'm quite curious how it's going to be between Amamula and uh, Andlauer, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going for the win. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, and as we've said already, uh, when, it, when you're running for the same team, um, making uh, serious contact is not an option. <laughs> Normally not, no, but both of these guys go for the championship, um, and they're here for winning the championship, yeah. and um, I think we're going to see some proper battles uh, at the end of the race. And we just saw from uh, the on-screen graphic there that Rettenbacher uh, closing in on Kohler, who is in uh, fifth place. So both of those drivers are looking very, very good here this afternoon. And uh, uh, there's a, the, I think that the top six places are all really up for grabs here, aren't they? And really, uh, having got past uh, Ivan Baliko, um, those uh, top six drivers are, are starting to kind of close up on each other a bit. So we see going up into turn one, uh, up the hill, looking back at the impressive uh, field of cars. The uh, quickest man on the track is still Julian Andlauer in uh, P2. Uh, he's putting in some uh, very quick times, uh, three tenths quicker than uh, Mikhail Amamula on that last lap. So he's definitely signaling his intentions. Yeah, now he's back 0 0.8 uh, seconds. So that means now he's going to end up in the slipstream of uh, Michael. And uh, this will help him again to close the gap. So, yeah, I think uh, he's on a mission now. <laughs> <laughs> and Dylan Pereira, um, although uh, he is 1.3 seconds behind uh, Andlauer, um, he has still uh, got plans on uh, that P2 place as well. Um, as we carry on with this race, we look at the uh, number 33 car, Stefan Redkoff, uh, for Huber Racing. And uh, he is currently down in 22nd place, uh, having been uh, passed by uh, Sebastian Down. You see the cars just using all the track, and once again, you see those yellow sausages of the, uh, the track limits. Uh, it's Carlos Rivas there on screen, and uh, he is our leading AM driver down in uh, P15. Yeah, being P15 overall in Carrera Cup race as an M driver. This is quite something. So, is that um, good, is that? Yes, yes. I mean, he's fighting with pro drivers around him. Um, so, pretty, pretty strong what he does. Um, and quite a lot of margin to uh, Stefan Rakoff, uh, who's back in P22. So, yeah, really strong by Carlos Rivas. So, I'm guessing that uh, Carlos Rivas will be, he, uh, his intention would be to uh, maybe look for a, a, a pro drive um, uh, at a later stage by showing his true colors here in this race, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's showing that he can really fight with the pro drivers, and uh, I mean, all of these guys, they are like 40 plus, so yeah. it's, that's pretty special. He started racing pretty late, so Bronx rated, um, so yeah, being, being there and fighting with top professional drivers, uh, that's quite something. That's good to do. Yeah. We just, uh, we're riding on board there with Burke Besler, and you could just get an idea of uh, what it looked like from uh, his perspective on board uh, that car. Uh, so we are over half distance already. This race is melting by, it has to be said. Uh, lap 9 of 17, as uh, so we see the uh, Carlos Rivas car that we were just talking about. Really impressive. And that's the car 17 of uh, Lucas Ertl, who's parked up. And uh, don't know what's happened there. Lucas Ertl, of course, um, he was the one that was involved in that incident yesterday. And you see him just go straight on. Now, that looks... Does that look like he just overcooked yeah, it into the corner? It, it, it looks like the front ride is, uh, there was no pressure in there anymore. But now we see Julio Adlauer uh, closing the gap to 0 0.4 seconds <laughs> on Am Müller. So he's quicker every lap. And uh, yeah, as I yeah. mentioned, now he's in the slipstream. Um, so now we're going to see some, some proper battles. So this is going to be very, very interesting. We are watching this one very, very eagerly. And uh, just while we do that, we're riding on board with Julian Andlauer, looking at the back of the Mikhail Amamula car and uh, just using everything he can to uh, close that gap up. Uh, it says on our timing screens, uh, four tenths a second, but I think it's less than that now because uh, that was when they passed the start finish line last. And look at him coming into the corner here. What's he going to be thinking? Um, now he was just thinking, oh, okay, it's yellow here. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I cannot overtake cool. him. Yeah, got um, it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but now he's just preparing everything, just, just scanning uh, Amma Müller where he's better or yeah, where, he, where he's having a better corner or a better exit. So he can prepare uh, um, an overtaking maneuver because I think he learned from yesterday 
Um, there he was a little bit too much in a rush, yes. trying to get past Tenforte. If you look into his eyes, he seems pretty relaxed. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what he does. Right, well, here we go then, lining him up and uh, just picking that moment. And uh, as we said, not making that mistake he made yesterday. If you remember, he got two wheels onto the dirt and dropped like a stone. And you're pointing out... Now it's going to be... Maybe yes, two, two tenths. tenths. Yeah. yeah, sorry, we're just looking at the timing <laughs> screens. And, uh, oh, that's an interesting mix there. <laughs> Uh, there was a little uh, the ghost of Burke Bursler. Uh, yeah, so um, as uh, as they cross the line, we see that there are another two tenths he's taken out of it. Uh, that gap is getting ever ever closer. Surely it's only a matter of time before he uh, makes the move. Yeah, he's al already trying to make uh, Amamula move to the inside, um, just just to get a better exit. He's not moving at the moment. Let's see how it's going to be in the next lap um, for turn four. It's still yellow, I think. Is it? No, 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 no yellow so. flag anymore. No, that's yeah. the uh, Lucas Ertel car that yeah. had to be moved out of ah, the way. It's still yellow. <laughs> it is still We've yellow. Yeah. 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 Yo, this is a driver who can spot these things. I can see it yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so, we don't want to see it, but we have to see it. <laughs> yes, we certainly don't. And, uh, poor old Lucas Ertel, he was involved. The innocent bystander in that uh, Jean Baptiste uh, Jean Baptiste seminar crash yesterday and uh, received damage and had another race now that uh, he's retired from. So uh, a bad weekend for him, but a great weekend for the BWT Lechner Racing Team. Uh, the boss is looking slightly nervous as their cars are one, two, and three in this race, and one and two in particular. It was two tenths separating them the last time around. Uh, we're going to have a look at the timing screens and see whether that has changed. It looks very, very similar as we see uh, the Gustav Malia car going slowly and looks like he's able to power it out of harm's way, so hopefully not a safety car required. Uh, but the gap is down to uh, 0.27, so uh, that's not a lot in my reckoning. And you can see on the screen how close they are. And uh, Mikhail Amamula just needs to make the smallest mistake and Julian Andlauer is going to be through. And here he is again, looking to the inside, looking to the outside, on the hill, oh, onto the inside. Little lock up by Amma Müller um, when going into the corner. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that was the mistake that we were waiting for. What was that? It just looked like debris flying yeah, up there. Uh, but the two cars running side by side, but it's Andlauer who has the inside line and takes the lead. So is Julian Andlauer. Uh, takes the lead from Mikhail Amamula who drops back into uh, P2. Now it will be interesting to see uh, what the gap is going to become between those two. Whether um, Mikhail Amamula can fight back um, or whether he is going to fall into the clutches of Dylan Pereira who is uh, loitering in P3 and has had a relatively quiet race but uh, clearly uh, is not content to settle for P3. We're looking on board here. Tell us again what do you think Julian Andlau was thinking? Um, yeah, I mean he was just happy that Michael just missed the apex a little bit, just locked the front right, you see a little bit of smoke coming out, yeah. and then he just put it in, and uh, yeah, from there on he already knew, okay, I made it, because he was on the better, better line, Yeah, yeah he I just put it in, and I think that he was just hoping for not having a yellow flag into turn four, <laughs> uh, yes. because the, yes. the lap before we had a yellow flag, but now we see already Andlauer, uh, he can move away a little bit. Yeah. He's got, and, and Fat and Dylan Pereira closing up. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you think that lock-up um, from Amamola was uh, just something that comes to you looking more in the mirrors than the track in front of you? Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's possible, for sure. Um, yeah. Because he was staying on the, on the normal racing line, um, which was quite risky because Anlau was close enough to go to the inside. Yeah. Maybe he thought he's going to the inside and was just a little bit confused. Yeah. Um, and then he made this little mistake and Anlau went past. And uh, yeah. But um, <coughs> Julian Andlauer, um, he, although he has a three tenths uh, lead at the moment, he only needs to make a similar kind of mistake and uh, Mikhail Ammon is going to be back. In the meantime, as you can see from your screens there, Dylan Pereira is uh, rapidly joining the party and uh, he is about half a second, six tenths or so, uh, behind uh, Mikhail Amamula. And uh, Dylan Pereira looking the quicker of the two of them, it has to be said. Uh, so, uh, a uh, proper party for BWT Lechner Racing. Uh, can they keep it as a one, two, three, all the way to the checkered flag? Dylan Pereira has got his eyes on 
another position as he lines up Mikael Amamula uh, for that P2 position. Uh, Julian Andlauer has now pulled out 6 tenths, 0.677 uh, over Mikael Amamula and uh, Dylan Pereira just 4 tenths uh, behind uh, Mikael Amamula. So uh, Pereira definitely looking like a, a man on the move. It's uh, three laps to go. Um, I think if Amamula stays uh, without mistakes, he's, he's going to stay in, in second position. But yeah, definitely Dylan Pereira will put pressure on him. And yeah, let's see. And in the meantime, that man who has not finished below P2 this year, um, Larry Tenvorda, in a relatively lowly P4. And um, we haven't seen anything of him today. And uh, he's just pretty well out on his own on the track at the moment. It's those top three. You see Larry Tenvorda there in the background uh, enjoying a fairly lonely race and um, his, his uh, run of P1s and P2s possibly coming to an end here, uh, providing the BWT Lechner Racing Trio can keep it all on the tarmac and keep it together. Uh, at the moment, Julian Andlauer uh, looking very, very strong indeed. Uh, not putting a wheel wrong, unlike yesterday, uh, when we have a car again off the track, the number it's 10 car, Matthias Jezerik. Oh, 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 and a bit of a tank slapper going on there. And uh, he is uh, one of our uh, AM drivers down in 23rd place and uh, will have no doubt picked up a lot of gravel. <laughs> we can see what happened, he just outbreaks himself. Really late, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, again, quite lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming he's keeping the power on yep. so that he doesn't yep. get um, bogged down in the gravel. Because um, uh, I imagine that the moment you take that, you let it go too slow, you're just going to get beached, aren't you? Exactly. He's trying just to get out of there as fast as possible. <laughs> he got airborne. <laughs> Sliding on back to the track. That's pretty pretty risky to come back to yes. the track like this. And that's what we saw yesterday with yeah. Jean Baptiste Simonau because he spun, kept his foot on it, yeah. came back across the track and caused that monumental accident, of exactly. course. Um, so yes, a uh, lively bit of off-road in there. Um, our uh, fastest, uh, our, our leading um, uh, rookie is Leon Kohler. And look at this going over those sausage curves. Sorry, just, uh, now that is, ex I would say that all of those are exceeding track limits, aren't no, they? No, you, you are allowed to go on yellow, but not over yellow. So not with all four wheels, just, just like two wheels if, if you, if you Exactly, if you drop okay. one wheel on the red, yeah. it's, uh, it's a track limit. Okay, yeah. wow. So they really are playing it close to the mark yes. though, aren't they? Uh, yes, fifth place, P5, Leon Kohler. He's our leading, um, a leading rookie and uh, doing a fantastic job in P5 ahead of Luca Redenbacher. And uh, Carlos Rivas uh, in uh, P15, our leading uh, AM driver. Again, very, very spectacular. There you see our, our front three and uh, they're broken clear of um, Larry Tenvorda in P4. It's Julian Anlauer who leads the way. He has six tenths, very, very nearly seven tenths over Mikhail Amamula. Uh, Mikhail Amamula has seven tenths over Dylan Pereira. So uh, fairly even gaps between them. And you can see Mikhail Amamula just uh, locking a wheel going into that very difficult turn one. And Dylan Pereira looking like he is winding himself up again uh, for another attack on that P2 position. So we see him closing in there as uh, 94 car over Jan Espich comes into the uh, Jan, that should be, shouldn't it? Jan Fitch, <laughs> me and my dodgy pronunciation. He's clearly got a problem, so uh, he's into the pits. Uh, he was in the uh, 25th position, and it looks like his afternoon is over. Um, you can just see from his eyes that he's probably a little bit fed up uh, to be stuck in the pit lane. He exits the car, and that's uh, one less on track for the remainder of this race. We are on lap 16 of 17 here, and there's our leader coming over the hill. Uh, the hot sunshine. Has Dylan Pereira got anything left for Mikhail Amamur? or is this the order they're going to finish in? I think that's it. It's uh, Now we go into the last lap, you see Dylan Pereira fighting really, really hard to yep. come closer, but Amon Müller found his rhythm again, um, and uh, I think he's yeah, he's going to stay in P2. And yeah, it's good good afternoon for Lechner Racing. Yes. Uh, also good afternoon for the championship. Um, yes. 
because just bringing these guys back a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> uh, we're on to the final lap now. It's lap 17 and 17, and uh, it's a 1 2 3 for BWD Lechner Racing. All they've got to do is keep it on the grey stuff and uh, get bring it home. And uh, Dylan Pereira still working so hard to close in on Julian, on uh, Mikhail Amamula, uh, but. Uh, not actually making uh, any great strides into that P2 position. Uh, we're looking back from Julian Andlauer there, and uh, we can just see that gap. We're on the final lap. He can pretty well sniff the champagne now. He is that close. And uh, we're just into the uh, second section of the track, coming into turn six, and uh, the cars are just well spaced out, and the uh, BWT bosses uh, at uh, Lechner Racing uh, getting ready for what will hopefully be quite a party uh, in that team. There you see Julian Andlauer just coming through into the final sequence of corners round turn eight and in towards turn nine under braking looking back at him there uh, looking back at um, Mikhail Amamula going quite wide out of that corner but uh, he's got it all well under control he comes onto the home straight he sees the check flag and it is a win for Julian Andlauer with Mikhail Amamula in second Dylan Pereira in uh, P3 and Larry Tenvorda uh, P4 with uh, Leon Kola, a brilliant driver as our leading uh, rookie in P5 from uh, Luca Redenbacher uh, in the 92 car who comes home in P6. So uh, even Valico, uh, P7 and Henrik Skoog uh, in P8. Uh, a really good race there and uh, a proper display of uh, total dominance from the uh, BWT Lechner team, don't you think? Yeah, I think uh, compared to yesterday, um, where they had the, the pace, but were just unlucky. Um, and yeah, for them today is a, is a perfect afternoon. And as I said, for the championship, this is really important. Congratulations to Julien. I think also yesterday he showed that he has the pace for the win. Yes. Um, yeah, and he did it today. So really, really nice. And I'm guessing Jean-Baptiste Simonet must be uh, looking on at his compatriots with their 1-2-3 and just feeling immensely frustrated after yesterday. Yeah, for sure. He was having the same weapon. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and lost it in, in yeah. turn four yesterday. Meant for yeah. him because he was having a, a pretty good qualifying. He's a young guy. Yeah. So, yeah. But he'll learn from that and come back stronger, won't he? And, um, and we will see him um, at the... Uh, front of the grid i've no doubt uh, soon so uh, once again silence descends on the red bull ring there's your official result julian andlauer taking a uh, the first of a one two three for bwt lechner mikhail amamula dylan pereira uh at the first three then larry tenborda leon kohler luca rentenbacher igor veliko and henrik skoog uh bringing at the top eight uh tony wolf and Yap Van Lagen uh, in ninth and tenth, followed by David Kolkman, Burke Besler, Sandra Kaibak, and Nicole, Nicolas Skoll. Carlos Rivas did a great job coming home in P15 as our leading AM driver with Louis Henkefend also doing pretty well to finish 16th from the back of the grid. Uh, Richard, Richard Wagner and Sebastian Down with Reese Barr, Stefan Repkop, uh, Philip Saga, Georgi Donchev. Andrzej Szczepanski and uh, Matthias Jezerik uh, bringing up the other places. You can see the rest of the results there uh, flashing up on your screen. Uh, Larry Tenvorda's uh, championship lead will still be pretty immense, but they've closed it a little bit. There we go, 123 points, Larry Tenvorda. But Julian Andlau with 77 and a half points uh, into center P2. Dylan Pereira with 63 points and Mikhail Amamula uh, in fourth. Henrik Skoog in fifth place. And that's the rest of your places there uh, of the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup Championship. Yeah, it's, it's the first time that 1040 is not on the podium in this year and it's 45.5 uh, points um, between Handlauer and uh, 1040. And yeah, it seems like uh, Lechner Racing was unbeatable today. Michael Amamüller looks not too happy. Uh, I think if you start a pole, if you lead the race for 10 laps and you don't win, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> I'm also saying. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Ah, finally, yeah? Ah.
Um, he just said there was a little bit. Julio was having a little bit of bad attraction, and uh, he said there was no point of fighting back. Um, he was not having the pace to, to manage that, so he he's okay with P2. But as you can see. He's, he's, he's not, not okay with P2 exactly. at all, is he? <laughs> <laughs> but he knows, he's, he's that professional, he knows that was the maximum he can do today. Yeah. So it was smart just to, do, just to keep P2 and that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're discussing if he still wants to uh, fight for the championship. But he explains that he wasn't planned for the full season. Uh, really? he, he was planned to do the full season Super Cup, where he leads the championship. Okay. But he wasn't planned to do the full season. Um, so he doesn't know if he will finish the full season. But yeah. Great. Thank you for that. That's really good to hear what was being said there. So we're just now waiting for the podium positions as we reflect on Julian Andlauer winning race two of the Porsche Carrera Cup. Heading home a one, two, three for BWT Lechner Racing. Yes, congratulations to him. I think the Euro is uh, in my pocket now. <laughs> <laughs> Son it. If only I had a Euro on me. <laughs> you take cards. <laughs> so I think, uh, Interviews are about to be done down there. We can see those three BWT Lechner cars um, there, and um, we look at this gorgeous track in the sunshine. Good, those sausages are a bit of a sweet, why don't you? And uh, we're getting ready. We've got lots of racing on here uh, this weekend. It has been a fabulous weekend so far, and the Porsche Carrera Cup um, has been uh, pretty spectacular. Uh, from beginning to end, so we've really enjoyed uh, watching and uh, commentating on those this weekend. So we're just uh, waiting now for the uh, podium presentation and uh, just reflecting on uh, uh, the uh, BWT Lechner 123. Here's the boss. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> He's just saying that, um, or they were asking if he, he's going to put a, a poster uh, with the three pink drivers of the podium, um, and he just replied that he's going to give it to the uh, sponsor, and he's going to ask for an increase <laughs> of, of the sponsorship. <laughs> ever, ever the businessman, eh? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, BWT is an Austrian company, so Lechner is an Austrian team, so for them it's, yeah. So to get it's a one, perfectly two, three done. Here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they were just discussing if uh, uh, Michael Lammermüller will proceed at the, the championship, and uh, he just replied that in the next uh, the next race is going to be in Bavaria, and uh, Michael Lammermüller is a Bavarian guy, so he said <laughs> for sure he's going to do gonna that one. Take exactly. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. And after that, they're going to think about it again. <laughs> He's, he's a little bit complaining about yesterday that he wasn't too happy with his drivers yesterday um, with the crash of Simenauer and the, the mistake of Andlauer and I mean there was a lot of the, on the table yesterday for Lechner and yeah. they haven't delivered at all yeah. and I mean that's why he said or he thought or he hoped that uh, today they're gonna yeah they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna do better and yeah they did do you think there might be some serious conversations over the dinner table last that's night that's possible yes <laughs> Ich 
So anything else interesting there, or was that just pleasantries? It was just pleasantries. <laughs> uh, he was he was discussing. He was going up uh, to the podium, representing BWT Lechner Racing. Um, yeah, and it's Father's Day today in Austria, so he's really? saying hello oh. to all fathers out there. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Well, as you can see, the Red Bull circuit uh, looking glorious. Um, it has been an absolute privilege to be here. Wonderful setting, um, a gorgeous circuit, lovely facilities. We've all been very welcomed by the uh, locals as well. Uh, and uh, it has been a truly uh, great weekend so far. And the weather has not disappointed. I was here five weeks ago for another event and it got snowed off. Uh, we were, we, the meeting got abandoned on the Sunday because of heavy snow. So uh, five weeks can um, bring a lot of changes. We're knocking on the door of 30 degrees centigrade up here today. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's so good to be back here at the Red Bull Ring. Um, it has been really, really good. We've still got lots of racing left here this afternoon, but that's it for the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup. Uh, although we've still got uh, the uh, podium presentations to come, which we hope to be bringing you very, very shortly indeed. As you can see, it's a big crowd in here today. Many thousands of people have packed into this Red Bull ring uh, to enjoy the sunshine. So, we're now just waiting for the podium presentation. Um, just while we have a gap, I'm just going to say to Lars, thank you for joining us today because yesterday's day has been so good to have your insight yeah, into you. uh, the. Uh, I mean, it's a whole different perspective to hear from a driver. It was my first time doing it. it was a lot of fun to get it with you. Great, yeah, thank you. Now I wish everybody a lot of fun with the GT Masters race. I think uh, it's going to be a great race again. And yeah, I'm gonna watch, watch it from the grandstand. And yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. And, uh, and then, of course, you're uh, racing yourself in the GT4 category later this afternoon. Exactly. We have the last race of the weekend. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we are pretty at the end. But yeah, we look, we look forward to a nice race. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, where are you starting from in, the, in um, that race? I'm gonna start P5. Uh, yeah, exactly. Let's see. I think, uh, especially in the in the afternoon conditions with a, with a hot weather, it's going to be pretty tough for us yeah. in our little Porsche fighting with the big cars. But yeah, I'm looking forward. It's always nice to race at the Red Bull Ring. Yeah. And yeah, let's see. We we'll look forward to seeing it, and we will be cheering from the uh, <laughs> cheering from the sides. Uh, right. So right. Our, our attention is back onto this now. Uh, I think. We've just about got some drivers uh, together. There's an awful lot of talking going on. Right, here we go then. These are our uh, one, two, three. You'll have to tell me which one's which. I'd recognize one of them. It's Julian. Yeah. <laughs> Julian Lauer in the, in the le uh, on the left. On the left. In the middle, it's Dylan Pereira. Right. And on the right, it's McLam. I'm a Malou. I might show you my inexperience here. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the cars. Uh, so, um, and the suits are pretty pink. Yeah, they are, aren't they? That's, um, yeah, looking good in pink. <laughs> um, Distinctive and uh, uh, very recognisable about around the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup and the ADAC series. Uh, lots of pink cars. So, some serious faces there. <laughs> yeah, we see Herman Tomczyk, the director of ADAC, Hurai Iziak, uh, who's, who's leading the Porsche Carrera Cup. So, all the official people up there yeah. and just waiting for the podium ceremony. Yeah which uh, should be getting underway very, yeah. very shortly. We see our friend Philip Sager, <laughs> who performed pretty well on the podium yesterday, <laughs> on our left. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so, here we go then. Is this, is this it? <laughs> the tension is killing us. <laughs> the sun is shining here at the Red Bull Ring, and uh, we're eager to see the uh, champagne spring. <laughs> so, uh, Someone said something very funny there. So lots of laughter. <laughs> yeah, still the Booker Bechtel is just moderating uh, <laughs> over there. <laughs> but he's not finding the point at the moment. It seems like. <laughs> uh, looking very hot. It's uh, quite a workout to drive that race, I imagine. Yeah. Right, hats on. Here we go. Let's get you out on the podium, chaps. Ray, and we're off. Here we go. There's our William, our winner, Julian and Laura. And then, uh, Mikhail Abamuller and Dylan Pereira. A one, two, three. What a picture. <laughs> An all pink podium. Yeah.
gosh, that's uh, a truly successful uh, hope race. That makes up for yesterday a little bit, doesn't it? OK, it's time for the national anthem. National anthem done. Pretty short version. <laughs> yeah, we're running, we're running short of time. <laughs> and now the uh, trophy presentation. And this is the uh, ADAC president, Herman Tomczyk. He must be very happy uh, with the events of this weekend here as he presents the trophy to Julian Andlauer. And Jurgen Fabry, uh, also yeah. from the ADC, presenting to uh, Mikhail Amamula. And to Dylan Pereira, Huri Isaac uh, from Porsche Pereira Cup. Presenting the trophies. <laughs> and <laughs> post for they did, they did the photographs after the champagne yesterday. There we go. He doesn't want to go out. <laughs> Lechner you know what you're racing. saying? He's, uh, he's part of the Lechner Racing team since 44 years. Wow. So this is. Yeah. That's pretty special in motorsport. That, that, that is pretty special in any kind of uh, <laughs> discipline in life. Uh, so the four of them there, that is a very Lechner looking photo, isn't it? Yep. Um, have we seen a one, two, three from Lechner racing like that in uh, recent times? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty special. That's going to oh. be... Oh, <laughs> victimisation. I should think that photo um, is going to be used on publicity shots uh, for a long time to come yeah. by uh, BWT Lechner. There's nothing better for that. Yeah, I mean... Home race, one, two, three. Absolutely brilliant. It's just a shame that uh, Simonau couldn't have been in it as well and made it yeah. a one, two, three, four, I exactly. guess. But, um, you wouldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, soaked in champagne. And <laughs> someone wants the bottle. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's hot work down there. Uh, I must be such a really <laughs> for them. Do you know who that man is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Did any bit go in his mouth? I don't think so. <laughs> it's going to be a long night for these guys. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, we don't hold much hope out of uh, getting any conversations out of them tomorrow morning. Um, in the eyes, yeah, you, got, you had that one coming, mate. <laughs> Great. Well, it's been... Um, a wonderful race. We've really, really enjoyed that. And um, both races this weekend, I think the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup uh, put on a really, really solid display. Um, it was uh, Thomas Prining who uh, dominated uh, this very event last year. Yep. Uh, this year, uh, we've had two different winners. Whiz, that is good news, isn't it? Larry Tenborne yesterday, and today it was Julian Andlauer. And uh, boy, did he uh, demonstrate a real turn of speed here. So we look at some of the highlights from this race. just a few shots uh, from what was a, um, a great morning of racing. Uh, so we're now looking back at the podium. Uh, talk us through this one, please, Lars. Yeah, exactly. We see Carlo Rivas, Stefan Rehkopf and Philip Sager um, on the podium for the amateur championship. And we listen to the anthem of Luxembourg.
that's it. We were just laughing at the P3 on the podium. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what, what characters? Oh, dear. <laughs> I can see them all laughing in the commentary booth next door as well. So uh, <laughs> there he goes, Carlos Rivas collecting his trophy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Trophy's been presented uh, to the one, two, three in the uh, rookie championship. And um, good to have some entertainment. Yes, the amateur championship. I mean, it's pretty... The amateur championship. Sorry. Exactly. As I said, it's, it's pretty strong it's it's pretty something to go into a, a championship like the Carrera Cup as an amateur and because you know where you're going to find yourself yeah um, so yeah yeah brave guys uh, <laughs> 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 and uh, Carlos Rivas finishing P15 that's uh, pretty strong for for, uh, for an amateur like him so and yeah, we will be watching off. him with great interest uh, for the rest of the season yeah you can Good. hear the roar in the background as the uh, ADAC GT Masters cars line up for their second race of the weekend. Uh, but as far as the Porsche Carrera Cup goes, um, it's our time to say goodbye. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you again to uh, Lars Kemp for coming in and uh, being the second voice and uh, the fountain of all knowledge, it has to be said here. Uh, really appreciate it, giving us great insight and good luck for the GT4 this afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, have a lot of fun with the race at GT Masters and yeah, see you next time. Brilliant, thank, thank you. you. And thank you to everyone for uh, watching us. We'll see you next time. Take care.